Hello, here we are with a very quick tour of the HTC Titan, the first Windows 7.5 Mango device from HTC. Uh, this has got a whopping 4.7 inch screen, uh, and this is the first time I've switched it on. Um, I'm still relatively fresh to Windows Phone, the new version. I use Android and we're going to have a quick look around uh, the OS and see what we've got here. So we've got no SIM card uh, installed in this, simply just got it connected to wireless at the moment. Um, so the home screen here, we've got the um, phone. So we've made no calls so far, but we have uh, can go into our contacts. Now I haven't linked it up at all here, so that's why uh, we're not seeing anything there. But here we've got the massive dial pad and um, whether you're, you've got poor sight or anything, I don't think anyone can fail to be impressed by the size of that uh, dial pad on there. You've got audible tones, very easy, very responsive uh, touch screen. And uh, initial impressions actually, this screen resolution is pretty good. Uh, we could probably play with the brightness and what have you, but we'll come to that. So we've got our people, this is where you can add people. Um, and get all the connections with your social networks and what have you uh, but nothing there at the moment but I could add a new contact or group or what have you actually you can probably see in the light it's not best but it's actually a very reflective screen I'd be interested to see how that holds up in uh, bright sunshine so we've got messaging and here we go into these so we've got thread messaging um, now here, now we can't do anything with that because that's just a default message. But if I start one up, we can start typing. So it's pretty reasonable. Is it going to go into landscape? Yes, it is. Okay, so um, it's a pretty good typing experience there. Um, you don't get the vibrate, maybe that's a setting that uh, you can change, but you do get the sounds. Uh, very easy, pretty impressive typing experience, um, but then it'd be difficult to uh, be pretty poor with the size of this screen. So if we go back, we've got the HTC Hub here as well, which is uh, um, HTC's customization or the limited customization that they can do uh, on on the device um, with Windows Phone. Uh, so you've got the the weather here. We've got some nice animation and what have you. So we can have stock news featured and what have you so there's quite a lot of things there and I'm sure people are doing more detailed tours on each of those online we've got the HTC watch movie service we've got photo uh, enhancer which is good because this has got uh, an 8 megapixel camera and photography is set to be a big thing in the new Windows phone uh, we've got calendar Again, I'm just scrolling through, not going to go into too much depth here at all because people do much more uh, detailed tours. So let's see if there's any pictures on here as standard. So yeah, they've got a couple of pictures. Let's see how they look on the big screen. So they look very crisp and clear indeed. You can zoom in by pinch and zoom. We've got things we can do here from the menu. Let's just then go back here as well. We've got other things such as notes and locations, what have you. Let's have a quick look at the web browser. Let's go on in here. So defaulting to HTC, let's go and type in Okay, so here we go. So we're loading this up. So let's go into our mobile site there, but let's go and load up the main 
sites here over Wi-Fi. That looks pretty good. So we can pinch and zoom in. We can rotate, which is nice. That's fairly responsive. The screen is responsive when you're actually scrolling on it. So we can twist that round like so. And then uh, general tapping around and what have you would be like any other device. So it's actually pretty good. So let's go and take a look at the actual HTC Titan product page here. So it's just loading in. So you can go and look at videos. So it's pulling in uh, YouTube videos here. So that actually is a YouTube video and it wants to actually uh, allow us to um, install the video player from the marketplace so I won't do that right now so there's a little bit of customization that needs to be done there or so it seems on this device to get it up and running so we're going into the uh, main applications and settings menus there's extensive things here in the settings from your Wi-Fi to your date and time to the keyboard and what have you so you can actually change some of the languages on here you've got quite an extensive list different languages, uh, Russian which is a popular one, Portuguese, Polish again, so there's quite, quite a few good options uh, in there as well. So we've got different uh, shop modes there within the settings menu. Let's actually uh, go into the camera application as well because that's going to be a big thing. Now, so we've got the uh, 8 megapixel camera with dual LED flash on the back. So then we can switch between video camera shots. We can then do self portrait using the front facing video camera. We can zoom in, which is a nice feature as well. We've got more settings. Here we've got scenes, which is nice to see that. We've got effects. Got the ability to do a panorama shot as well. Can change white balance, contrast, etc. Even change the ISO, which is a pretty good function as well. So actually it seems like they've done quite a lot of work on the, uh, the camera um, here which uh, is really excellent uh, because cameras are becoming a bigger thing on devices now. Uh, we've got maps as well, it hasn't got GPS switched on on this so uh, that may be an issue because we're indoors as well but you get the idea that you can use this for uh, finding your way about um, around the globe. So there's lots of different things uh, on this. You include a flashlight as well. So you've got that on the back there. Nifty little feature. You'll be surprised how many times you do actually use that, even though you might think you won't. We've got the office. So this is great for business. You've got Excel, Word, PowerPoint, OneNote, and what have you, access to your SkyDrive. So there are a lot of nice things about this uh, device. Uh, everything seems to perform um, pretty well. And uh, we'll be back in the future with more videos on HTC and other Windows Phone devices.